In this video, I'm going to show you how to add integers using a number line. There are two things you have to remember. Number one, to add a negative integer, you move to the left of the number line. Wherever you're at on the number line, to add a negative, you move to the left of the number line. To add a positive, you move to the right of the number line. So wherever you're at on the number line, to add a positive, you move to the right of the number line. So let's go over some examples. Let's say we have two positive numbers, three plus two. We know that three plus two is equal to five from elementary school, but what would that look like on the number line? It simply means that from three, we're going to add two more. 1, 2. And the movement is going to the right because we're adding a positive 2. You can also show it like this. From 0, you move to 3 because 0 is the origin or the starting point at the beginning. So from 0, I'm going to move to 3. 1, 2, 3. From here, I'm going to add two more steps. And that steps would be going to the right. One, two. So the final answer is five. So three plus two is equal to five. Let's have another example. What if we have two negative numbers? For example, negative one plus negative three. So first, we model negative one on the number line. Negative 1 on the number line means from 0 to negative 1. And then we are going to add a negative 3. That means three steps going to the left of where we're at since 3 is negative. So we're going to do three steps. This is where we're at right now. We're going to move three steps. 1, 2, 3. Our endpoint is negative 4, so negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Now, what happens if you're adding two, two different signs? If you're adding integers with two different signs, let's see what happens. Let's say we have negative 5 plus 3. Our first number is negative 5, so we are going to model that on the number line first. Negative 5 means 5 steps to the left of our starting point, which is 0. So from 0, we move 5 steps to the left. So from 0, we go to negative 5. From where we're at, we are going to add a positive 3. Because to add a positive, we move to the right. From where we're at right now, we're going to add 3 steps to the right. So that's... 1, 2, 3. Three steps to the right. 1, 2, 3. So our endpoint is negative 2. Therefore, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. What happens if we start with a positive number and we're adding a negative number? So let's say we have 4 plus negative 7. I have 4 plus negative 7. First, I'm going to show 4 on the number line. So that's a movement from 0 to 4. And then I'm going to add a negative 7. Now remember, to add a negative, you move to the left of the number line from where you're at. So this is where we're at right now, and we're going to move to the left seven steps since this is negative seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from where we're at, which is at four, we move seven steps to the left because this is negative seven. We end at negative three. Therefore, the answer is negative three.